back to Colombia and the FIFA Futsal World Cup. And after the exit of Brazil, Spain were many people's tip to win. There's nothing bigger in this world than being able to represent your country because of the circumstances surrounding it and for the whole setting of a World Cup. And above all, you're representing many people that would like to be here. And it's an honor for us to be amongst the 14 players selected to play in a World Cup. Everyone knows us. They know that we are very intense, that we have a strong defense and good tactics. And we always compete at 100%. We demand the most and we always come to the championships to win. All agree that a collective spirit is inspiring them in the competition. We're a family. This is something other teams may lack. They might have great individual players, but their collective is not as strong as ours. That unity has been nurtured by the head coach, Venancio Lopez. If the peak for a player is to be in the national team, then the peak for a coach is to be the manager for the country. So I do feel extremely proud, not just being the coach, but also having worked with this wonderful group of players for the last nine years. To be one of the teams that's achieved so much obviously makes me happy. And on a personal level, my work brings me great fulfillment. The boss is demanding. He knows our potential and that we have a great team. We're a very united group and always very competitive. He simply lets us play and pushes us so we can try to win the tournament. Spain began the tournament superbly, looking like genuine contenders, topping their group, before defeating Kazakhstan in the round of 16. Our goal is simply to be better for the next game because we're in a situation where from now on we can no longer make any mistakes. So we must really raise the bar to win the next game. It's very important to Spain and to the Spanish League to see the national team winning a World Cup because in the end, Spanish futsal will benefit from every success achieved by the national team. When the team wins and does a good job, it appears in the media and futsal in general sees an increased presence on TV and on the radio. This benefits futsal and children also become a lot more aware that we're champions. However, in Russia, Spain faced a formidable quarter-final opponent. Spain, in white, were 2-1 up after only six minutes. But then the Russians put on a show that underlined their credentials as serious contenders. Spain's dreams of a third FIFA Futsal World Cup began to fade as Russia took control. An emphatic 6-2 win for the Russians was completed by goalkeeper Gustavo. What a way to make the last four.